started the Ye Old Chaps Club in the fall of 2012 because I've been reading up quite a bit on one of my automotive heroes from the history of the, of the sport. That's W.O. Bentley. If you've ever heard of Bentley cars, most people have. I decided that with Bentleys going for anywhere from a quarter of a million to a few million dollars, I wasn't about to get a real W.O. Bentley motor car anytime soon. So the best I could sort of do to, to approximate the vehicles of his life and times was to build a motorcycle sort of like the one that he learned how to ride on. I didn't have the money to buy any kind of new car like an English sports car I was looking at and uh, I also didn't really have the money to put into my Dodge, my American car at the time, so this was sort of the cheapest way to, to have some automotive fun. Just like the old motorcycles, it's got a one cylinder engine, uh, single speed, no, no gear shifting that you can do. Um, I unfortunately couldn't find one of the old English motors. If I could have, it would have cost more than a nice new car. So I, the closest approximation I could find was this Chinese built motor. And that's kind of a shame that it's Chinese. But at the same time, it's got a lot of the, the classic features of English automobiles, such as these bullet connectors. These are about the worst possible electrical connectors known to man. They exist on just about every English machine well into the, into the 80s and 90s. They, they're not very strong, they short out. I haven't had problems with this one yet, but I'm waiting for that to happen. These bikes are pretty dangerous and they take a while to get used to because they have regular brakes, like on a cantilever brakes, like on a pedal bike, which are not nearly enough to slow down a motorized bike, especially not if you're going downhill. Uh, but th again, that was part of, the, of these classic machines. All, all the old machines were overpowered and underbraked. You, you couldn't slow down if you had to in a hurry, so you had to constantly be looking way ahead of your bike or your car so that you wouldn't crash into things, and that's exactly what you have to do with this. Um, the choke is, on a car, on a motor like this, uh, sort of an extra throttle. The carburetor is too big for the engine, basically it's built for an 80cc engine, this is a 49cc. So the choke, you know, it, uh, it varies how much gas versus how much air the engine is getting. So on an engine this small and a choke this big, it's like an extra throttle. And it's really in a bad place because as you can imagine, you've got both hands on the handlebars where they're sorely needed. And then to adjust the choke, you've got to reach down here where your hand doesn't belong while you're you know, trying to avoid cars, women and children, other things you're not supposed to run over or hit. And uh, as you can also see, the pedals come very close to the engine. They just barely miss it. Uh, there's little pieces of wire and screws and whatnot that stick out of the sides that you're always catching your pant legs and your shoelaces and your socks on. Uh, here's a tank full of gasoline and oil mixed, which is exactly what a Molotov cocktail is. So that way, if you light on fire, the fire sticks to you and you can't get it off. And you know, here it is, sort of right in your lap as you, as you merrily motor down the street. Uh, this is why they stopped making motorcycles like this shortly after Bentley had his start, because they're sort of screaming metal death traps, but that's why they're fun for some crazy people.